nitrous oxide, how it works. Okay, so how nitrous works. So let's just start with the, the plumbing. So you, you got the bottle in the back and you run the uh, your braided line. Um, I got the purge and then your nitrous solenoid and then it goes into a spray bar. Um, this is a non-adjustable um, power shot system. It's jetted for 125 shot on a V8. And on this side, I just got the fuel system teed off. It's just a stock uh, air tech fuel pump. I just got it teed off. And it, um, so one goes to the carburetor and the other goes to the fuel solenoid. So that's how you get your enrichment. So nitrous itself, it's just an oxidizer. It's non-flammable. So the nitrous adds the oxygen and then you add the extra fuel for more power. So that's the basics of it. And what is the purpose of the purge? So what the purge does is, so if you don't have it, you open the bottle and your your bottle is all the way in the trunk so when you hit it hit the nitrous there's going to be a slight delay uh for the nitrous to get into the motor because it has to fill the line and then come all the way up to the carb and into the intake manifold so what you do is when you purge it you're purging the line from the trunk all the way here so it's right at the solenoid so it'll be ready to go it'll just right there into the intake manifold so that it's not only for show so and mine though i i got it teed off on two sides that is just for show so the way it's activated is um later on i'll show you inside but you got an arming switch to arm the system and then when this throttle arm goes wide open throttle it hits the switch and that activates both solenoids and the for the purge i have another button on the shifter but um to activate the actual nitrous and the fuel solenoids it's just off of wide open throttle so once you go this arm goes wide open it hits this and it activates both of the switches and that injects the nitrous and the fuel into the system and this is where I mount the bottle. So what I like about these these plastic bottle uh this bottle brackets is see if it wasn't this one it opens it's plastic because there's no way I could get the bottle up and then slide it in so this way I can just come in from the side. So it's kind of like to uh, um if you're kind of tight quarters so that's a good um brackets to have if you don't have space. And for those questioning that, you know, the stock fuel pump just teed off. I mean, it's good enough, you know, the, the plugs come out okay. It doesn't lean out. And, you know, runs 11.0. Should be 10s, but yeah, 11.0 strong. You know, not missing. Um, plugs come out nice, no speckling. And doesn't look like it's leaning out, so it works. And I have the carb jetted a little on the rich side, so that helps. And then... No, let's go inside and this is just the the electrical system of the nitrous so i got um you got 12 volts to this switch and this is the arming switch so if you, you keep it like not armed you can go wide open throttle and the solenoids won't activate so i just have it in line so once i arm it then the the micro switch is hot and once you go wide open, the, the micro switch activates the solenoids. And then after the pass, I shut it off. And I also have it um, hooked up to the purge. This is, this is my purge button. So when that is armed, the, the purge is also active. So pretty simple wiring. It's just, you know, in line. It's just power and ground solenoids. Uh, pretty simple and 
as far as timing retard or ignition retard uh, rule of thumb is uh, they say roughly about two degrees for like every 50 horsepower increase in like a v8 so i got the digital six here and it's 125 shot but um i've been retarding four degrees if you can see that and it's been pretty safe uh it should be actually like six degrees but uh four degrees was it it works um tune up is good nice and safe so bottle <clears throat> bottle pressure i try to keep it around 950 i have a gauge on the bottle and then you know if it's um a brand new bottle if it's uh, really high i try to purge it out especially if it's hot at the track um but you know i don't like to try to waste waste a lot so i just try to bring it down a little if it's you know thousand or oh, like over thousand i try to bring it down under thousand and yeah that's that's basically the gist of it it's, it's a real it's a cheap way um to make horsepower the installation is easy so i guess that's the attraction you know and the only thing is you gotta keep on filling up the bottle so but yeah this is my first power adder that i ever added to an engine and you know always been working i mean this is i don't know i had this system on for like i'm gonna say it's like 20 years old and still going so still working so yeah nitrous